Yes guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today, it is the match day preview for the massive game on Sunday between Liverpool and Manchester City. Should I be worried? Yes. For how we've been playing in the Premier League has been dreadful for a top club. Um, but am I excited? Of course. It's the biggest game in probably English football right now. Um... Probably just, I don't know if it's above Liverpool, Manchester United, but it's definitely two title rivals. Um, even though Liverpool are well below Manchester City. Um, but like, subscribe, turn those notifications because you are wanting to get ready for this video because I want to give you some good facts. We're going to be talking about the away side of Manchester City first. Now, of course... I'm going to be starting with Erling Brought Haaland. He has been an absolute monster and a robot for Manchester City. In fact, he has scored 15 goals. Top scorer. He's, I mean, Kevin De Bruyne has helped him all the way through. He's got eight assists, Kevin De Bruyne. I think Kevin De Bruyne and Haaland are going to worry us on Sunday, uh, to be honest. Um, where Manchester City are playing right now, it's it's quite scary, in fact. But I'm surprised they're not first still. Um, I mean, Arsenal, of course, they're first. But with Manchester City, the way they have been playing, it's the normal Manchester City. Um, Erling Bort Holland has taken them up to a new level, in fact. Um, it, it's just shocking how many... How, I mean, when that community shield was being played between Liverpool and Manchester City, Erling Bort Holland was literally nothing in that match. And then everyone was saying, oh, what a flop Erling Haaland is. Is he going to do well in the Premier League? No, he's not. But I think people are regretting that right now. He has scored 15 goals, guys. 15. Um, he's going to be our de definite danger man for Liverpool. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, he's a, he's a mad midfielder. I can't lie. He's probably one of the best midfielders I've ever seen in my lifetime. Eight assists. Especially for Erling Brought Haaland. He's just, oh my. Those two, as a duo, are, are inevitable. Seriously. Um, now, Manchester City's flop now we're going to talk about. I think it's Riyad Mahrez. He has not been great. He's only played, he's only started three matches. Um, and he's he's played eight matches. Um, he's only scored one goal though. That's not... Him, he played brilliant last season. Um, so I think the danger man is definitely Erling Bro Haaland and possibly Kevin De Bruyne. But you know, for goals, it's going to be of course Haaland. And I, I mean, I, we still need to look out for those. Um, well, everyone in Manchester City, to be honest with you, they're just dangerous. Seriously, I mean, yes, I know they haven't won the Champions League, but seriously, they are just. I've seen all of Manchester City's Erling Haaland's got what well, Erling Haaland's Manchester City goals. He's he's crackers, especially in the air. I mean, he's he's, he's a robot. It's seriously, um, I it's gonna be a really tough match. I can't lie. I mean, I know they drew against Copenhagen. I mean, it's better than losing, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's it's still a good result to draw. Um, they didn't really need to win that match, in my opinion, uh, because, you know, they're free to the round of 16. What more can they want? And, I mean, I know um, Manchester City um, had a player sent off as well. He's not going to do... I don't think he is important for their... Well, not important. I wouldn't say that. I don't think he's going to, you know, affect Manchester City's squad that much uh, with a man sent off. Because, you know, a draw's a draw, you know? Um, but then Ria Mahrez, he missed a penalty. It was a very, it was quite a challenge. It was a very good save uh, by the Copenhagen uh, goalkeeper. I can't lie. Um, but I don't think Ria Mahrez, he's definitely, a, he's, a, he's been a flop for Manchester City. Erling Haaland, I, I definitely think he's going to score. There's no chance he's not going to score against us. And I know it was the community shield that he didn't, it was a flop. He's not really a flop, but, um, I don't think he showed the fans who he actually was, but now I think people have regretted what have they if they've said 
that Erling Bro Haaland is a flop. He's not going to do great in the, uh, the Premier League, also the Champions League. But now look at him, he's just, he's just crack. He's, I, I would pronounce him as a robot. Um, not Erling Bro Haaland, it's Erling Robotic Haaland, shall I say. That's the new name for him, for me. Um, but yeah, honestly, Man City are known, especially with Erling Brock Haaland, he's inevitable, and so are Manchester City. So it's going to be a tough decision what uh, what I think the score's going to be. But yeah, honestly, that's all I can say for Manchester City. Now, for Liverpool, we haven't done great this season, I can't lie. We've conceded in every single game except from the Rangers game when we won 2-0 and the Bournemouth game when we won 9-0. Now, our flop, I personally think this season, well, they could be turning out to be back on form, but I truly think it's been Salah and Trent mostly. I know Salah scored the fastest hat-trick in Champions League history, and Trent scored that cracker um, of a free kick against Rangers. But I do still think they're a bit of a... Uh, they're not been great this season. Um, one man I do me will mention, though, that's been brilliant for us, is Roberto Firmino. He has been absolutely insane for us. He, he, he's, he's not as good as Erling Brock Haaland, of course. He's got 15 goals. But he, he he's shown who he is. He's a fantastic footballer. And I think he should start against Manchester City. Um, but with the injuries we have, isn't great. We've got now Trent um, and, uh, what was it, Trent, Cater. Um, we've got loads of players out. It's it's pretty. We've also um, we've also got Diaz out. Um, it is pretty bad if I'm honest with you. The injuries haven't been great. Uh, I think that's the one thing we've struggled this season with injuries. Um, but let's hope we do win and we keep that uh, unbeaten record um still happening because it's nearly been five years since that's since we've been uh, since we've been a bit which is crazy and that is with van virgil van dyke um because i was searching up the other day i swear we lost four one to city at home but that wasn't with virgil van dyke i was like right i got you there <laughs> um but i do think we will concede definitely i i don't think we will not con I, I definitely think we will concede at least a goal or two Erling, Erling brought harlan would definitely score i think with us being 10th in the table, does give us a bit of a pressure. Um, I know it's still early days in the uh, Premier League with 11 games in, into the season, but it does still give us a bit of pressure. Questions being asked, will we reach the Champions League next season? Will we even reach top four this season? And, you know, even get... Because, let's be honest, that game against Arsenal, I don't think it was fair. You had Gabriel... Handballed, uh, hand, he handballed the ball when Jota kicked it. Um, I don't think that was a fair game, but a, a loss is a loss. You can't really do much about it, to be honest with you. Um, I personally think it should be 3 3. Um, Darwin Nunes again, he scored four goals, not great, but he's still getting he's still getting to, into the uh action for Liverpool. Um, I can't lie, on um, Wednesday night. He was great um, with that one goal. I mean, it's one goal. So what is it, one goal? He's literally scored. Um, but the finish he made, he could have smacked it, but he placed it carefully on the bottom right. It was a great finish. Um, I think the danger man for Liverpool, I've got two players as well. Mo mainly um, Roberto Firmino, but I think it's also Salah. Uh, when I say re mainly Roberto Firmino, he's our top scorer. Um but I do still think Salah is our danger man still. Uh, we've just got to keep up with our keep up with his um, old form when he has scored five. I mean, he scored five hat tricks, so that's pretty good. Uh, but Arling Bohani, he's scored two, two or three hat tricks. He said he's got the same record as Salah. It's mad. Um, but I I can't deny this. It will be a fantastic game of football. Um, I still think Liverpool and Manchester City are. One of the best teams in, the, uh, in Premier League history right now, I still think. I know we're 10th, mid-table, bang on mid-table. But I know it might sound of an excuse. We've got injuries. I feel like... Do you know what? Actually, uh, we may have injuries. But because, to say, 
One, actually, one, sorry, one player I think has been brilliant for us for a replacement is Tim Scass. If Robertson was injured, he would do his, the same job as him. He's been brilliant for us. Um, I do think we will concede, though. I, I can't lie. Uh, it will be a cracking game. I think there will be more than three goals in this game. Definitely. I don't think we'll lose, though. We, we, I think we'll be strong enough after that 7-1 win. But with the 7-1 win, we can still... We, we still That will give us a bit of confidence, but still might not give us enough confidence to beat City. But if we draw... It's a draw. If we lose, it's a loss. You know? But we cannot lose a game. Otherwise, we are in big trouble. I can't lie. Because, um, I mean, we've lost two games in a row. But I personally think with Erling Brot Haaland on fire, um, Firmino on fire for us, um, Cancelo being on fire, every, well, every person I've mentioned, I personally think the score will be A 3-2 win to Liverpool. Harlem will score one. De Bruyne will score another. I think Firmino will score two. And Darwin will score one. That's my prediction. Um, this has got to be... And also, this isn't a massive day just for Liverpool-Manchester City. There's also other games. The El Clasico. Freiburg versus Bayern Munich, Union Berlin versus Dortmund, second versus third. No, it's the top four basically against each other. It's mad, and you got PSG versus Marseille. This has got to be the biggest games of the of the Bundesliga, the League One in Paris uh, in in the French league and the Premier League. Biggest games, and it's probably the biggest day of the whole season for all these clubs. Um, it's going to be a cracker. And, you know, Pep Guardiola had an interview and he said, Liverpool are still our title rivals, even though we've done not, you know, as good as I expected. Uh, maybe mainly because of our injuries. I was think I said to my dad the other day, when we lost 3-2, I said, is it just because, when we lost, is it just because the players are getting old? Um, or is it just the injuries? I don't know. But I'm hoping we get at least a point. I'm, I'm aiming for a point, at least. It would even be better if we get three points. I, I'm asking for a point. Where have we been playing? I'm asking for a point. Um, but it would be fantastic if we win. Because that would be City's first loss, uh, first loss of the season. Um, but that's enough of me talking. Comment down below your predictions of the score for Sunday's massive game for Manchester City. Also, comment down below the other games for your predictions. Freiburg versus Dortmund. Union, no. Union, yeah. Freiburg versus, Freiburg versus Bayern Munich. Union Berlin versus Dortmund. I think it's one of, the, I think it's the same games that I've just said. Um, and of course, PSG versus Marseille. Comment down below all of those games. Um, and hopefully, I get my prediction right. Or at least get a three points or one point. I'm aiming for one point. That's all I care. I don't mind if we draw. But we have been quite terrible this season. Um, also, I've got to mention as well. Another flop, I think, has been... Um, who was it? Milner. He has not been great for us this season. He's he's made... He's I know he's getting old, you know. But I think he's... The fittest player on our club, in our club. Uh, Liverpool always do a run in training, well, every season, and he always wins it. Um, but that's training. We're not going to talk about training. We'll talk about this massive match. Uh, but yeah, subscribe, like, turn on those notifications, comment down below what you think the score prediction will be, and hopefully, if you say Liverpool win, you are right. Fingers crossed, and hopefully we get a good result in to continue the Premier League title race. If we will be in the title race. We don't know yet. We are 10th in the table. It's a bit too early to say. But yeah, come on you Reds. And this team is hopefully going to get a point. I'm wearing this Liverpool shirt just for this video. Good luck Liverpool. Hope you get a point at least.